What's cracking, peeps? Darren McDuffie here, alias Fat Man, helping you become perfectly healthy and toned and conscious, of course. Talking a little bit about emotional pain and a transition into physical pain today and what illness really represents for most of us. Now, if you're someone out there who might be suffering from an illness, what illness is is a vibrational indicator for you to let you know where you are, again, vibrationally. Most of us live in a state of discord. That means we are not aligned. We're in constant states of fear, anger, resentment. It's what I call the FAR principle. And many people exist within these energy states. We all know someone who's constant fear. We're told in our society to not talk to strangers. We're told to lock our doors. We're told many things because we have a false sense of security and we're living in this constant fear state. Many of you go to a job every day and you fear losing your job because you fear of what might happen. A lot of us live in this anger cubicle where we've been angry our whole lives just simply because something happened and we're dragging it along with us every day. We have this backpack that we're toting where we're angry about something that happened with our father, our mother years and years ago and we have not dealt with that emotion. Or again, we're resenting certain things, certain things that happen. We say that they should not happen, but they've happened and we can't get over that. When people have a chronic illness, all they need to know is that a chronic thought pattern exists within them. For many of us, we're taught really early on to not be so emotional. You know, I was taught that early on through sports. Don't get so emotional, don't get angry, don't get your head into things. But in a sense, that's true. In a sense, that's a, a complete untruth because your emotions exist in a place for your guidance system to let you know how to be guided. We wouldn't have emotions if they did not serve a purpose for us. But what happens with a lot of us in our emotions is we can become buried in those emotions over time. Again, staying in the energy state of fear, staying in anger, staying in resentment, when all they do is exist for a way to acknowledge and say, hey, I'm in fear. What do I really want? You want more security. But instead of jumping over to security and really focusing on that, we're focusing on the lack of security. So what happens in an illness is we're focusing on the lack of wellness. Our wellness or our well-being is the state that we exist in. Most of us come in to the, <clears throat> to the world, excuse me, <clears throat> to the world in a state of well-being. It isn't until we go through certain phases of our lives, things start happening where we start getting in this chronic disease states, these chronic patterns of thoughts, and then illness must manifest. So your illness is a way of the body telling you that, again, there is somewhat of a discord between what you're thinking and what you're feeling, and you need to be more in harmony with that. Surrender to illness. It's there for you to be able to exist in that contrast, to exist in that bad thing happening, whatever it is, diabetes, uh, Alzheimer's. Of course, if you're in Alzheimer's, you're not really going to remember if you're in Alzheimer's. But it exists as a something to provide contrast for you to say, hey, you know, what am I thinking? What are my, my thought patterns during the day? And then be able to focus on something else. The mind is a powerful thing. And most of us haven't learned how to focus. It's not about controlling the mind. It's about focusing the mind on what you want, what kind of state of your body you want to achieve, and really appreciating your body and really being your own guru. I can't stress that enough that we are led to certain things for us, but because we don't trust ourselves, we never really listen to what we're being led to. So trust yourself and know that whatever exists for you, it exists for you in a state of being able to expand and go to something else. So if you have an illness right now, 
there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to get on the other side of that illness and into well-being. But again, know that illness is just letting you know that there's some vibrational discord between what you're thinking and what you're feeling. And you can close that gap by having better feeling thoughts. And in most cases, when people do this, they'll find out that that illness actually ends up dissipating, disappearing. Darren McDuffie, alias Fat Man, helping you become perfectly healthy in tone and conscious, yo. One love. I'm out.